Hey, people has to go and we're back. Very well. And we need to get out of here. Oh god, this is not the place to do this. Um pub said for the pub. <laughs> I Talk got this guy. Beer for ya. Welcome to the tanker tree. Would you like to see your services? Yes, please. Suit you somewhat depleted my larders, but you're welcome to whatever I have in stock. Oh yeah, we forgot about oh wait, no. Oh yeah, that's right, I was cleaning up the pocket plane. Sworn whisper, seven chain spear, eight eight eight. Comp longbow, sell. Okay. Sell that one. Sell this. Sell those arrows. Okay. Alright. We have... Now you took damage. That's, that's not how things are supposed to happen. Leave her with the rod of resurrection. Okay. Split those up. Learning Sphere of Chaos. There we go. Alright. Ari's gonna heal us up. Mortis Caudia. With all speed, comrade. And Animan wasn't there. God damn it. What a booger. All right, what do you got? Looks like regular stuff, a few magic items. Do 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 do. Club plus three. An enchanted stick. Nice bows. Crossbows. Bullets plus three. Bullets plus four. <gasps> Got armor. Paws of the cheetah. Give me that. And then there's our stuff. What do you have? Beer, basically. Let's um let's rent rest. Um, why can I not rest at this time? Boots of the north. Fuck that. Boots of speed. Changing her shoes. Can we rest now? Finally. Have a feeling being bombarded outside is not conductive to rest time. Another close one. Any damage? Hey, 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 hey. Something on your mind? Can you leave her alone? 
You don't give orders in this town. We work for Gromnir. Sir Animan, Gordley Silverweed demands you soldiers apologize to this woman. Your crude suggestions are not fit for the ears of any lady, be she barmaid or noble duchess. Guess it's time to remind everyone who's in charge around here. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Next time. I... I don't like the looks of this. Somebody forgot how shit goes down here. Ooh, they all had magic stuff. Alright. Good. Oh yeah, he don't know shit. He has no lore. Mace plus two, split mail plus one, longsword plus three, full plate mail, large ship plus two, or three. Whatevers. Here, can have their stuff now. KK, thanks. Bye. Alright, um. It shall be as you I'll, say. Uh, take a peek around. Am I looking for a good time? Maybe. If it must be done. I'm not overly into women, but if you got some wine, I'll be down with it. Go tepid. What the hell? So be it. Go tepid. Yeah. Tepid's kicking ass. It will be done. You looking for a good time? I might be looking for a good time. Um, not right now I'll though. Get on it right away. Okay, um, I guess let's talk to people. For honor and glory! Hi, friend. You. If you aren't a ball spawn, you should probably leave this place. It isn't safe for any of us. Nowhere is right now, really. Certainly. Maybe Fadi needs to talk to him? Ah, my sister. I should have expected it would end like this. Weren't you the guy who trade me? I'll spend a brief time there between jumps. Yeah, you vanished in a flash of lightning. Curse of my ball tainted blood. Whenever I was afraid, I would suddenly be teleported to a completely new part of the world. Most disruptive, especially when I was being hunted. By who? Oh, the other ball spawn, of course. Yaga, sure, for one. Others. Whenever I tried to build a life, the hunters would show up. Boof, I'd jump. Or teleport, if you'd rather. It's not a very comfortable thing to live with. So how come you haven't jumped out of Saradish? <laughs> kind of ironic. I ran into Melisande during my travels. Well, she helped me and she tries to help other ball spot. She cured me, so my fear wouldn't make me jump anymore. First, it was great. Knowing you could be snatched away without warning is a little upsetting, but now... Now that we're trapped here, I kind of want to jump. Do you resent her for doing that? Well, she was only trying to help. She had the best of intentions, though. Obviously, events have not worked out as we hoped. Maybe I can help you. Can you help me find Gromnir? I don't know why you want to meet with him. He's rather unstable. Paranoid, even. He isn't hard to find. He's in the throne of the castle, or so I hear. That's all I got. Hi, friend. I'm not insane. Okay. Nobody believes me. Why would they? After all this was going on in Serdish, why even think about the fact there are monsters among us preying on us? What? You... You're right. I, I'm babbling. I know they're searching for me. They know that I know about them. The knights aren't safe. I can't even flee the city. Who are you talking about? The vampires. The courtesans. Some of them started to disappear after the siege began. Nobody knew where they went. And then they reappeared but changed. Nobody noticed because of the siege, but it's true. They moved down to the old prison. Their lair is there, I swear. And they come to the bar at night and feed on the customers. 
I don't know how many there are now. So many people die every day. What's a few more? I was taken out of the prison myself, but I escaped. And now, they're hunting for me. I know I sound crazy. But nobody wants to listen, but it's true. If they come to the bar, why aren't you here? I, I don't know. It's, why am I here? Why did I come back? I gotta get away. He got boots of speed. Bye. So the courtesans are vampires. Okay, that sounds logical. Helm guides my path. The best leaders also follow. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Mm -hmm. Good day to you, sir. Strangers are a rare sight here in Serodushi's days. Uh, you know anything about Millicent? I'm sure you <laughs> don't know anything about that. Okay, um, do you know any way to get into the castle? <laughs> no. Go dip it! What about it this guy? Be done I need and done well. well. Who's this guy? Pyrgum Allison, I think. I trust all is well. Pyrgum Allison at your service. I hope I have what you need. A stiff drink? Dark times call for dark ale. Am I right? Not too many friendly faces, are there? Serdus was a nice place not too long ago. Then the ball spun started showing up. Gromnir took over, and now we're under siege. Can't blame folks. They've taken a dislike to strangers. Still, life and business go on for a while. All a man can do is carry on and hope for the best. That's my philosophy. Anything else? Um, you know, wait and get in the castle. Don't know why you want to go talk to Gromnir O'Conn. Most of us do our best to avoid him. I might be able to help you. For a modest fee. And Fadia coming in, cutting to the chase. How much do you want? I need a thousand gold to share the secret. 500? Sorry, to sell this market the full thousand or no deal. Come back when you're ready, willing, and able to part with that precious gold. Alright. Alright, here's your money. Start talking. There's an old abandoned jail in the city where the Count Sen to lay could imprison his political enemies. Rumor holds there's a passage from the jail into the castle. The jail never got much use. Nobody bothered to look for it. Eventually, we became overrun with undead, and the Count secretly asked Sister Feriella at the temple to seal the entrance. How do you know all this? Sister Ferella and I have a very close relationship, if you get my drift. Winky face. If you talk to her, she might give you the key to the sealed door of the jail. Seeing as how we're all doomed, anyway. Anyway, life and business go on, goes on. Um, services? Please see the bartender for a list of services and items for sale. Okay. Cortisone, cortisone. Maybe we should talk to the priestess before we go, um... Very well. Getting physical with anything. Can we save it this time? It looks like we can. Information was got. Okay, <coughs> um... This kind of looks churchy. Says Animan and... Airy. <coughs> oh, shit balls! Oh shit, she's stunned. Or... Airy. Go back. Go back Excellent. with Airy. I am listening. Fadi and Rasad going back, hanging out with Airy, making sure she's okay. As you wish. Woo! Alright. End of the church. The most radiant heart, for I draw from. <sighs> Very well. As always, your pleasure. Is Greetings, brother. Welcome to the house of Joaquin. I'm Sister Feriella. How may I serve you? Um, what do you know about Millicent? A virtuous woman, truly kind and compassionate lady. She brought the ball spawn to Serodish to find them sanctuary within the walls. It's not her fault Gromnir took advantage of our hospitality. She meant well. 
Alas, the siege has thwarted her noble efforts. When the walls fall, as they surely must, all the balls fall and will be slaughtered, and her efforts to save them will be for naught. Anything else? Uh, what can you tell me about Gromnir? He's a tormented man, afflicted in both spirit and mind. Taint of ball poisons his blood and tortures his soul. I would feel pity for him, but he's been very cruel. Grumner trusts no one and has locked himself away in the palace to await the inevitable end of the siege, though I fear he will bring the destruction to us all first. Um, speaking of that, do you know any way to get into the castle? Do you want to get inside the castle? What? I would suggest don't seek out Gromnir. In his mind, he's capable of anything. Well, if I'm helped the city, I have to go see Gromnir. You don't seem like an evil person, brother. Very well. I'll help you with your task, though it won't be an easy one. Several years ago, I was asked to seal the entrance to the city jail to keep a great evil from escaping. As a clerk of some power, I was the only one who could do it. I'm loath to reopen the entrance lest the evil escape into the city, but if you think you can reason with Gromnir or aid in the city somehow, perhaps it's worth the risk. Are we talking about vampires? While powerful undead creatures have taken up residence in the abandoned jail cells. More than this, I can't say, though I would suggest you bring holy water with you before going down there. This key will open the door to the jail. The door itself has been warded against the undead, but once you're below, you will have no protection against them. You'll find the door across the street. I wish I could tell you where to go once down there. I know it connects to the castle, but not how. Take the key and be safe, brother. Is there anything else? Um, yeah, you said holy water. Do you happen to have any on hand? Potions of genius. Oh, she's so excited. Holy water? Yells blues. Let's buy three. Okay. Now you want. some of these potions. All right. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. It will be done. I'm just I'm just curious. Nice. Oh yeah, that's right. Pass these up to Rasad. He's our potion carrying genius. All speed, comrade. What the hell was that? All right, let's go here. Keep an eye on Ari. She's the only one without a speed boost. All right. For honor and glory. Just going into the nearest building, basically. All right, here we go. Lazarus Librarius. Guides my my Welcome to the Arcana Archives. I'd normally invite you to look at my magical wares, but my shelves are completely bare. I don't even have a single parchment left for you to purchase. Nah, he's pissed. My spellbook's been stolen. Without it, I cannot fashion the powerful scrolls which would normally fill my shop. Please, would you help a humble wizard? No, he's like, yes, we will. I thank you for your aid in solving the theft of my spell book. Anything I can do to aid your investigation? Uh, tell us about the crime? No, he's basically taken over now. 
At first I suspected Hectan. He's well known about the city for sticky fingers. But after questioning many witnesses, it's clear Hectan was at the local pub from dusk until dawn on the night of the theft. I still suspect him, but I can clearly see the guilt on his face. There's no proof. Without my spellbook, I'm powerless to pursue this myself, and as a newcomer to this town, I have no one else to turn to. Any other clues? Well, I only found one, but it doesn't point the finger to Hectan. I found a set of muddy footprints leading from the window. They're small footprints, far smaller than those of Hectan. Or any man or woman. There's little else I can tell you. Hectan can, Hec can be found at the tanker tree. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll go talk to him about it. Godspeed, without my spellbook, I have no way to restock my inventory. Nolly's like, we have to save this man's spellbook. Alright, so small footprints. Look, there's a couple of little ragtag bastards right there. Dragging it would be my pleasure. Um Rasad and Fadia with her. It can be done. Loser, loser, loser. Oi. You don't look scary to me. Is there another little bragamuffin floating around? Who are you? Oh, we were talking to the same boy. What an annoying little shit. Anyway, what do you want? You think it has to be because I'm a kid? You know anything about a missing spell book? Oh, sure. It's because I'm a street urchin. I have to know about stolen books. I don't always believe me. Scoop sell this. Scoop sell that. You don't have any proof. Oh, yeah? Got muddy footprints that look like your shoes. Oh yeah, I, I might know something about that. I can help you out for a thousand gold. Uh, how about five? Five gold. I've never had so much money in my life. Okay, I stole it for Hectan. He paid me to do it, but I don't have the book. I gave it to him. Honest. All right. Certainly. Time to go back the to the tanker tree. Also We've got a mystery, kids. Airy. Oh yes. It hey, Tempid. And done well. Nalia That's coming up here, dragging her minions with her. Naturally. Diddy, ma'am. Strangers are a rare sight in Saradish. Yeah, I want to talk to you about a stolen spell book. Lazarus was barking up the wrong tree. I was here all night, and I have witnessed to prove it. Um, yeah. I talked to Squip, by the way. Gave you up for five gold. Okay. <laughs> I admit I took the book, but I don't have it on me. If you kill me, Lazarus will never get it. I'm not a bad man. Really, I just took the book because I thought I could use it to escape the city. But the damn thing's locked with some kind of spell. Lazarus has a teleportation scroll. If you get me that scroll, I'll give you the book. Do we have a deal? I'll go talk to him about it. Speak to Lazarus or don't, it's your choice. But until you've got the scroll, we have nothing more to discuss. Very well. Alright. She's asking Nali er, Fadia to go... Uh, Certainly. See about bumping up against him. What's her pickpocket? 115. She'll drink it and risk it. She's going to see if she can get the book off him by pickpocketing him. Doesn't have anything. Okay. Very well. No, honey, I'm not looking for a good time. Long live the order of the most radiant heart. For well, I draw from the pool of right and strike. Again, now you're taking the lead. Hector admitted to stealing, stealing your spell book. He'll give it back in exchange for some teleportation scroll to get this out of the city. And Lazarus, I knew it! He's a fool if he thinks teleportation will help him escape the city. I do have the scroll, and I'll trade it, but it's useless. 
Yakushur's mages have cast powerful spells imprisoning us, imprisoning us here. Anybody foolish attempt a magical escape will rebound off invisible walls. Grizzly and messy fate. Here's the scroll. You can choose to tell him what's going to happen or not, but I need my spell book. Well, you look like you. <sighs> Very well. Come on, Ari, don't get hit. Without doubt. Once all this would have been beyond my imagination. But that was a long time ago. It's almost beneath me. I have the scroll. Give it to me. Here, take the spell book. I can't use it anyway. This is scroll. It's my ticket out of here. As I've said, Nolly has been getting kind of power hungry. Hmm, she's trying to decide if she should tell him. She's buying a little time by making sure that the book is her. She's got Fadia holding the scroll at the moment. Her good intentions wear out. I gotta warn you, Lazarus says if you use it, you'll die. You're lying. You must be. Why would you lie to me? And why would Lazarus not have left the city? Perhaps you're right. I must think hard before I use the scroll. With all speed, comrade. All right, now Naya's like, let's go. For honor and glory. We must return the spell book. Actually, she's looking at it right now. Energy. Summon Nishro. Hang on. Nolly's checking her spell book. Okay. Chain contingency, freedom, spell strike, time stop. Okay, remember those people. Helm guides my path. Have you made the exchange? Yep, here's your spell book. Thank you kindly, ma'am. Truly, the legends of Fadi and Thane have not been exaggerated. I can once again craft my scrolls. Please feel free to browse my vast collection of enchanted parchments. If you see anything you like, I'm sure we can work out a mutually beneficial exchange of coin for the said item. Now he's like, yes! Look at this. Protection from undead. Those sound like good scrolls. Oh, um, yeah, we've got a list here. What do we need? Was it improved invisibility? No, invisibility. Uh, improved haste, that was it. Where's improved haste? Is that like a level 5 spell? Protection from normal missiles. Protection from normal weapons, that was one. Improved haste. I believe that's the other one. And Dolly's like, just give me the stuff!
Okay, wish. Crushing hand. Okay, absolute immunity. Okay, we'll buy that. She remembers having gate, but I don't think she memorized it. We have potions. Oh, yes. Potions of superior. Oh, look at that. We'll get the superior healings. Oh, yes. Boots of speed. Hey, Airy. Hold an iron stone. Intelligence plus one. No, he's like, yes, please. All right. Now that we have this, we can put all these in here. And take some of the burden off Rasad. What's she using now? Armor class plus one. She'll take this instead. Okay, who needs this? Gift of peace. That's better. Right now, we need the boots of speed. Honestly. She's got pearly white iron stone. Got pale green. Well, we'll keep it. All right, so we need that and this and this. What do we have in here? Meter Swarm, Power Word Stun, Gate. Jesus. Pretty sure we've got all these. Definitely have True Sight. Protection from Energy. Okay. Okay, she's got Mislead. She's got Death. Alright. All right. Awesome. Um. The potions we don't need at the time. What do you have for s All right, we're sorting. We're sorting. Okay. Yes, we can save. Saradouche, save. Yes. And want to go back to the pocket plane and talk to. So 
that's Benar. Quickly and precisely. All right. Test Bernard, gladly. Yep. Ooh. Show me. Ah, the flail of. You sure you're not? Ooh. You like this one, maybe? I'll be chained. Little snack on a tooth, huh? <laughs> Forty thousand gold. Uh, I don't know that much. Gold. Okay, so I keep looking. Um, dum, 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 could be messy. Enjoy. Now Seth Bernard goes back to his duty. Ooh, shiny one. Oh, no, wait. Alright, so in that, we've got improved cloak of protection plus two. Improve haste once per day. Improve invisibility once per day. Alright, he could use this. He's got that. He would lose one armor class if we traded this cloak for this one. So he would be down to six. But haste and improvement. And he's got that one and that's the one he's going to be wearing. Nymph cloak for buying and selling. Whispers of silence. Don't believe she can use this cloak. Well, she can take that off, this, and add that. That would get her to four. And overall, that would be good. And she can just keep this stuff. And she has absolutely no rings. Huh. Inventory full. Hold this. I'm just checking stuff. Because it's a cloak of displacement, it's okay. Five. The cloak of non detection doesn't really work that well. Well, he could use it for combat purposes. That sounds good. It's bothering me. Okay. So now, I will save, and I'm going to do shit offline. Just basically cleaning out the uh, scroll case and that kind of thing, and We'll probably have Nalia memorize some spells, so I will see you tomorrow with more of Fadi and Faerun.